Hi, in the previous video, we have seen how to create the render layers for the shadow separate and the model separate here. And now in this video, we are going to see how to export them separately. So in order to do that, first we'll go to the render setup here. So as we seen here in the previous video, so here we have created the layers for the geometry separate and the shadow separate here. So when you enable this one, it will enable like it will show only the model here and the lightings which we have dragged into the collection here. And if you select this one here, it will show only the shadows which is falling onto the plane here. Now make sure before exporting, we have to render only the model or the shadows. We don't need the background here because if you render with the background again, it will not be possible for us to uh, composite in the nuke because in nuke already we have a background. So now what we need to do is we need to export only the model separate and the shadow separate here. Uh, so first of all, so see if you render this. Now if you render, you are getting the background also, but what, what we need to do is we need to render only the model. So we have to remove the background. So what the thing is, if you select this camera here. So if you go to the perspective. And see whenever you select the camera and now see we are not able to see the camera. So for timing, we will enable the uh, like master layer here so that we can see the camera here. So now what the thing is in camera last time in the previous video, we have imported the uh, footage too, so that uh, whenever we see through the camera, we can see the background. Now that we need to remove. So we, ne we need to go to the attributes editor also. We have to go to the environment and image plane. We have to click on that and we have to remove the sequence here. So enter and just here to deselect this. So whenever we go to the camera here, now we will not able to see the background. So whenever we render, we can able to render only the model. And also when we enable the shadow layer, we can able to render only the shadow here. So for timing, I will enable this here. Still, you can able to see because this is the sky dome which you are seeing in the background. So as we want the lighting should be fall onto the vehicle. So that's why we have applied that image onto the sky dome too. So no worries like uh, already we have uh, disabled this thing. So when we render, we will get only the shadow and the model here. First, what we need to do is we need to export the geometry separate and also we need to export the shadow separate here. Now we need to make some settings. Uh, we have to go to the render settings here. So we need to go to the render settings and also make sure we have to set the resolution here. So when we go to the render settings, so we have to set the resolution which matches to the video which has been taken in the new call. So so once we'll check the properties of the footage here, the original footage. So we'll go to the location of that footage. So this is a footage here. So once we'll see. So see here if you go to the properties, you can see this resolution is like 1280 by 720 and also the frame rate is 24. OK, so what the thing is exactly we need to make the settings here. So already the frame rate is 24 in the, here in Maya. So only we need to do the thing is just we need to set it to 720 and also now in this common settings in renderable camera, we need to put it to camera because finally we are going to render through camera. So we have to put it to camera here and here the image format. So for time being, I will put this image format to TIFF here because why we need to uh, export into TIFF is because only the model has to be rendered. We don't want any backgrounds here. So that's why it has to carry the transparency in the background. So that's why I'm putting into TIFF here. And now here we can name that. So let's say we'll name like uh, Ferrari Geo. Let's say we'll name it as Ferrari Geo. And now what the thing is here, we need to set this option here. So for timing, it is like single frame. We need to select this and we have to put it to name underscore hash dot ext because uh, previous setting was it is only it will render only the single uh, frame here. Now we need to export 200 frames. So that's why in this settings here, we need to put the option name underscore hash dot ext hash is nothing but it will mention the frame numbers here because we, we have in like 200 frames. So in hash place, it will replace with the frame numbers. And here frame padding, so we can put it to like three because what is frame padding is like uh, here you can see if I increase, it will increase the frame padding to four numbers. So we don't have 1000 frames, so we have less than 1000 frames. We can put it to three. So we need to uh, select the frame range here. Uh, so as we want to render from 
uh, one to 200 frames. So we have to set the start frame to one and we have to set the end frame to 200 here. And everything is okay. And now see, uh, I will explain about another setting. So if you go to the Arnold renderer here, if you see adapt to sampling, it has been enabled here because if you don't, if you are not enabling this option here, when we render, you will get some sort of noise on the vehicle here. So if you don't want to see the noise on the vehicle, better you enable this. And according to your system configuration, we have to place this value because if you put more number, then the render time will take more means uh, the the render time depends on this value so if you increase the number then the the time of the render also will be increased depends on your system configuration you place this value okay for time being i will put it to like uh, 10 or like 5 here that's it and make sure in the render setup first we need to render only the geometry so i will enable this uh, only geo render so that when when i start render it will render only this thing here so after that what we need to do is we need to enable the shadows again we need to do the same process like we need to uh, render here so now we will see how to render this uh, as a final video here so only the thing is when you are uh, exporting the shadows here we need to change the name like shadow like a Ferrari shadow or something. So it closes. So I will enable the only geo. Now in order to export this we need to go to rendering. And here we have to go to the render option and we have to click on this render sequence here. So we have to click on this box here and make sure we need to select the camera. And we need to select the location here. So if I select this and let's say if I go to that and we can create the folder like renders. Okay. And inside renders, we no need of creating any folders because uh, according to the layer, automatically it will create the folder called like only geo. And literally when you render the uh, shadow layer, it will create the folder for the shadow also so what we need to do is we need to create the folder for the render so inside we can render the geometry and the shadow too so simple just we have to click on this render and close okay so same for this uh, shadow also so if you enable the shadow and if you go to the render settings here we need to change the name to shadow like let's say ferrari shadow Ferrari shadow enter and also same the settings everything will be same like one to one to 200 and the camera and the resolution has to be same here and again we need to close and again uh, like we need to go to render render sequence and here select the location and click on close and also one thing suppose uh, like if you have rendered only like one to hundred frames and later if you want to continue again when you are rendering make sure you have to make all the settings uh, same and only the thing is here we need to put the option like one not one to 200 okay so because previously we have rendered only up to 100 frames so here we have to put it to one not one to 200 if you want to continue the render here okay so once I will render this because it will take time to render all these layers. So in the next video, I will show how to import all these renders into the Nuke and we'll make the final composting in the Nuke here. So see you in the next video.